our objective for today, I can solve systems of linear equations by graphing and substitution. Let's read together. One, two, three. I can solve systems of linear equations by graphing and substitution. All right, here we go. So, um, we are, we're still on the same concept, system of linear equations. We started yesterday with graphing, so we got graphing done. Today we're going to look at solving those using substitution method. So here we go. What are first system of linear equations? Yesterday we covered that, and just to refresh your memory, system of linear equations are two, uh, the set of two or more linear equations that they have the same variables. I'll give you guys examples, non-examples, and we said the most important thing to remember, they have to be two or more, and they have to have the same variables, right? Okay. For this lesson, we do need a lot of steps. We have five steps, but with each step has a lot of processes. So make sure you write these down, please. Here we go. Steps. Number one. First step. Solve one of the equations for one variable. Solve one of the equations for one variable. So for systems, right now the systems that we've been graphing and solving, I've been giving you how many equations per system? Two, right? So therefore, this step one says solve one of the equations for one variable, because each equation has how many different variables? Two. two. So therefore, step one, solve one of the equations for one variable. Step two, substitute that equation into the second equation. So once we solve that equation with for one variable, we substitute that into the second. So step two, substitute that equation into the second equation. Step three. Once we do that, you're going to solve that equation for the variable. So that equation is going to have a variable that you're going to solve for. So it's step three, solve that equation for the remaining variable. Step four, substitute, substitute that value into one of the two equations and solve for the last variable. So step, step, notice that on step three, we solve for one variable. Step four, we substitute that variable into one of the equations and solve for the last variable. And step five, we write as a coordinate and check. Write as a coordinate and check. So check this out. Circle and underlying stuff so you won't forget the steps. So number one, you can circle where it says solve. What do we solve? For one variable. Step two, substitute into the second equation. Step three. Solve the remaining variable. Step four, substitute the known variable and solve for the last variable. And at the end, write as a coordinate and check. So we're done copying that? No. Okay, I'll give you more time. All the steps. Now, with with the second semester coming to hand, uh, I usually give uh, signs. I use like hand signals and stuff like that to remember the steps. Why? Because we're going to get to some problems that require more than six, nine steps, and they require a lot of work between that. So that's why, in order to remember, I usually use hand signals. So for example, number one, I use this, solve. So step one, I need to solve the first one of the equations for one variable. So how many equations are we going to have in the system? Two. I need to solve one of them for one variable. So that I use that symbol, solve. Second, I take that equation and substitute into the second. Take that equation and substitute into the second equation. Step three, solve for the remaining variable. Once you have the substitution in there, you solve for the remaining. Step four, you get the value of that variable substitute into one of the two equations and solve for the remainder. Once again, we take that variable, substitute one of the two equations, and solve for the remainder. And step four, at the end, we write a coordinate and check. Write a coordinate and check. Simple steps. Step one, solve one of the equations for a variable. Step two, take that equation, substitute into the uh, second. Step three, solve for the remaining variable. Step four, substitute that variable into the uh, one of the two equations and solve for the remaining variable. And at the end, write as a coordinate and check. Okay? So here we go. Let's write this example down. Example number one. Here we go. Example one. 
it says solve the system by substitution. And they give us the bracket x plus 2y equals negative 1 and x minus y equals 5. Copy that system, please. So, once again, they give us the system uh, x plus 2y equals negative 1 and x minus y equals 5. So, in the previous lesson, we solved systems by graphing. And what we found out that the solution to the system was where both lines intersected. And that is one point. Is that correct? Yeah. So what that's telling us is that at the end, our solution has to be a coordinate. However, are we graphing this time? No. I'm going to show you a method called substitution. But we need two values. We need an x value and we need a y value for our solution. So check this out. Step one was to do what? Solve one of the equations for one of the variables. So check this out. Just pay attention, pens down. We have two equations here. I usually like to get the first one in order to do my first step. So here we go. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to write here x plus 2y equals negative 1. And I'm going to solve for one variable. I can either solve for y or I can either solve for x. In this case, I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to leave x by itself because it just takes me one step to get rid of y. Is that correct? Yeah. So I subtract 2y, subtract 2y. We're left with x equals negative 2y minus 1. Are we there so far? Yeah. Okay, so no longer am I going to use this one. I'm going to use this one and this one. Are we there so far? So step one, solve one of the equations for one variable. Done. There it is. Step two, I'm going to take that equation and I'm going to Substitute into the second equation. So check this out. This is where it gets uh, a little bit uh, confusing for some of us. Here it goes. This equation, the one I just solved for, says that x is all this, which is what? Negative 2y minus 1. So what is x? Negative 2y minus 1. So on my second equation, I have an x here, but I'm not going to rewrite it with x there. What am I going to go? And replace that with negative 2y minus 1. Check this out. Negative 2y minus 1. And then I bring down the negative, the y, the equals, and the 5. Copy that, please. Here you go. Once again, focus, please. Eyes up here, please. So, let me go through the steps again. Step 1, did I solve one of the equations for one variable? Yes. Step two, did I substitute that equation into the second? Yes. Step three, solve for the variable that is in there. Let's see. I'm going to draw my line down here. What variable do I see? Y. That means I need to solve this equation. First step, I combine like terms. Let's see this one. And this one becomes negative 3y minus 1 equals 5. To solve that, let's see. I add 1, add 1. We're left with negative 3y equals 6. My last step is divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, y equals negative 2. Okay, before you do anything else, we have a value for y. So where does that go? In our solution coordinate here, negative 2. Copy that, please. Okay, as you're finishing up copying, here, I'm going to recap the steps again. Step one, solve one of the equations for one variable. Got it. Step two, get that equation and substitute into the second equation. Got it. Step three, solve for that remainder variable. Got it. Okay. Step four, get that variable, substitute into one of the two equations, and solve for the remaining variable. So let's see. I'm going to substitute this one into one of the two equations. I can either choose this one or this one. It doesn't matter which. It should give you the same answer. However, what am I solving for here? X. Which of these two equations is already solved for X? This one, right? Do you guys see this? X equals something? But we need a number, a full number. But this one has a Y. Do we know what Y is? Yes, yeah, so check this out. I'm going to substitute this one into this equation. So instead of y, I'm going to write a parentheses and negative 2. Okay, I'll bring everything else down. x equals the negative 2 and the minus 1. 
I just simplify. Negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4 minus 1. What is positive 4 minus 1? 3. X equals 3, and that goes right here, and that is what we call our solution. Copy that, please. Okay, once again, the recap. As you're finishing off, copying. Step one, solve one of the equations for one variable. Got it? Step two, substitute that, ver that equation into the second equation. Got it? Solve for the remaining variable here. Got it? Step four, substitute this last variable into one of the two equations and solve for the remaining variable. There it is. That's our solution. Step five, oh. write as the coordinate. Did we do that? Yeah. Yes. And check your solution. Let's double check that. Yesterday, for homework, it asked you to check if a certain point was part of the solution to the system without graphing, right? Yeah. We do the same thing here. I'm going to write this first equation on, I'm going to write it here, x minus y equals 5. But now I have values for x. What is x? 3. And what is y? Negative 2. So that goes here, 3 negative 2 equals 5, and I bring down the minus. What is negative times a negative? Positive. This is 5 equals 5. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. So it worked for this one. Now I need to check it for this one. I'm going to write this one right here. x equals negative 2y minus 1. Once again, I, my values for my solution are x is 3, y is negative 2. Bring down the negative 1, the negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. And positive 4 plus I minus 1, that's 3. Is 3 equal to 3? Yes, it does work. And then I write my statement. The solution to the system is 3, negative 2. 10, Q. Copy that, please. And if you want to label this so that you know that this is where you checked, checked, there it is. Once again, recap. Solve one of the equations for one uh, variable, yes. Substitute that equation into the second, yes. Solve for the remaining variable, yes. Substitute that variable into one of the two equations. And solve for the variable that's left, yes. Write it as a coordinate and check. Yes, we're done. Let's go to example two. Copy this one, please. Example two. It says, solve the system by substitution. And our system is y equals x plus 1 and 4x plus y equals 6. y equals x plus 1 and 4x plus y equals 6. It's going to have the same steps. We're going to do this one together, okay? So did everybody copy example two? Okay. And on this one, you don't need the instructions. It's the same instructions that you just wrote for the other problem. I just said copy the system. Example two, and there's a system. So let's go through our steps. Here we go. Step one, solve one of the equations for one variable. Look at them. What do you notice? One of them's already done. They already did step one for us. Does everybody see how this one's already solved for y? Yes. So therefore, we go to step two. Step two, we take that equation, substitute into the second. So check this out. This one says that y is what? x plus 1. And here on the second equation, instead of y, what are we going to write in here? x plus 1. So we do that here, x plus 1. And you bring everything else down. 4x plus that equals 6. Are we there? Okay, so you're doing this with me, right? Okay, our next step. So step one, solve one of the equations for one variable. Yes, substitute into the second. Yes, solve for the remaining variable. So how can we solve this? What is the first thing? Simplify. We, okay, we combine like terms. This is 5x plus 1 equals 6. Continue. So from there we do minus 1 minus 1. We're left with 5x equals 5, and at the end we divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals 1. So in our solution, in our, in our uh, coordinate, what goes in there for the x? 1. So 
So now we're just missing the y value. Is that correct? So, so we're done with step one, step two, step three. Next, we take this variable, substitute into one of the two equations, and solve for the other variable. Which will be the easiest to substitute into to solve for y? The first one, right? Because this one's already solved for y, isn't it? Yeah, so I write that over here. y equals x plus 1. But instead of x, what goes in there? 1. Bring everything else down. The y that equals the plus the 1. So y equals 2. Therefore, that goes here. And that's our solution. Yeah, it became a little bit easier because they did step one already for us, right? Uh, if it doesn't say to check, you don't have to check. On the homework, if it doesn't say check, it, you don't have to check. Okay? All right? So now check this out. In this case, I do want you to check, just to double check. Okay? Get it? To double check. And there All right, here we go. So I'm going to use, I'm going to write this one here. This is 4x plus y equals 6. I'm going to check. What is x? 1 times 4 plus, what is y? 2 equals 6. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2. What is 4 plus 2? 6. Is 6 equal to 6? Yes, that's true. So it worked for that one. Let me see if it works for this one. I'm going to check this one. Uh, y equals x plus 1, y is 2, x is 1, 2 equals to 2, that is true. Therefore, what is our statement? The solution to the system is 1, comma, 2. So now, oh, and 10, Q. Now, some students ask me, Mr. Q, do we always have to write this? I'm all, yes. And let me tell you why. As of right now, there's still some of you that still don't understand what we're doing. Some of you are still, what does this mean? What does this mean? Well, that's the solution to the system. But yeah, but what does it mean? It means that that's where both lines intersect, if we were to graph them. Okay, but what does that mean? What it means is that this point makes each of the equations, what is this letter for? True. Did it make it true for this one? Yes. Did it make it true for this one? Yes. It's got to work for both in order for it to be a, so, a solution to the system of equations. Are we there? Yeah. Okay, let's do another one. Example number three. See if you can do this one by yourself. I'll just help you with the first couple of steps. Here we go. Example three. Solve the system in, by substitution, and it's y equals 3x and y equals x minus 2. Copy that. Okay, let's do this one together. Step one, solve one of the equations for one variable. But what do we notice? They're all solved already. Okay. So step two, take that uh, equation and substitute it to the second. So check this out. So we're going to take this equation and substitute it in here. So what value do they give us? Y is 3x. So instead of writing y here on the second, what do we write? 3x. So this is 3x equals, equals x minus 2. Are we there so far? Yes. Do you know how to solve that equation for x? Yes. Okay, solve for x, and then from there I want you to substitute solve for y, and I want you to write your solution to the system and see what you get. Here goes here goes the, power, the, the process to see if uh, you got this correct. Here it goes. Uh, to solve for x, I need to subtract x from this side. Subtract x. We're left with 2x equals negative 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals negative 1. Hands up, you got that. Okay, and that goes right third. Okay? Next. I'm going to take this variable and substitute into one of the two. In this case, it doesn't matter which. Which will be probably the fastest to solve? It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just take the first one. Y equals 3X. So therefore, Y equals 3 times, what was X? Negative 1. Y equals negative 3. Hands if you got that. 
That is correct. This is a solution to the system. To check, once again, check. I'm going to write this one, y equals uh, x minus 2. We have values now for x, negative 1. For y is negative 3. Bring down the negative 2. Is negative 3 equal to negative 3? Yes. And then I'm going to check this one. y equals 3x. So now we have negative 3 equals 3 times negative 1. Is negative 3 equal to negative 3? Yes. So therefore, the solution to the system is negative 1, negative 3. 10, 2. So make sure you go through all your process, you know, the solving one of the equations for one variable, substituting that equation to the second, solving for the remaining variable, using that variable, substituting to one of the two equations, solving for the second variable, writing your coordinate and check. Okay, here it goes. Example four. Here we go. Example four. Copy this. It says y equals x plus 3 and y equals 2x plus 5. That's our system. I want you to solve it using substitution. See if you can do the entire problem by yourself. You already know the steps. Go. Okay. Here you go. Step one, solve one of the equations for one variable. They're already solved. Okay. Therefore, step two, substitute that equation into the second. So this equation says that y is equal to x plus 3. So on the second equation, instead of writing y, I'm going to write x plus 3. And that should be equal to 2x plus 5. Hands if you did that. Okay? From there, we need to solve for the remaining variable. Get all variables to one side, starting with the smallest one. This is x, so I subtract x, subtract x. I'm left with 3 equals x plus 5, subtract 5, subtract 5. We're left with negative 2 equals x. Hands if you got that. Okay? So on our, on our coordinate, the x value is negative 2. So far so good? From there, I'm going to take that and substitute into one of the two. It doesn't matter which. This time I'm going to substitute into the second one. Just so that you can see that it doesn't matter which one you choose. y equals 2x plus 5. And instead of x, I'm going to substitute in here negative 2. Multiply that times 2 and then it add 5. See what we get. This is y equals negative 4 plus 5. And y equals 1. If I was to substitute it in here, everybody look up. Everybody look up. If I was to substitute into the first equation, what is x? Negative 2. What is negative 2 plus 3? 1. You should, you should get the same thing. So our solution is negative 2, 1. Okay? Hands if you got that by yourself. Okay? Good. And like I said, the last part was to check and write your statement. Any questions? Pretty straightforward, right? All right. So for homework. Homework is found on page what? 340, numbers 1 through 7, all, 24 and 26. Now, check this out. These two are word problems. I want to see how you do. Yesterday, I showed you how to set up one system from word problems, and then from there, use substitution to solve it instead of graphing. See how you do with that, okay? Well, that's your homework for, uh, for this. Have a good one. Enjoy your homework. See you guys tomorrow.